This is Peck's Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 8, The Demon of Mount Hiei. Alright, so we're going to start going up here. And what is blocking our path is the giant one-eyed yokai and a crystal wall. So we're going to start by fighting this giant yokai. So Kekai, Carnage, cover your dual sword with water. Then cast the giant yokai with sloth and weakness. And then uh, switch to high stance. Uh, so what you do, just wait for him to attack and then punish him with the water slash. And then uh, rinse and repeat. Alright, there you go. So apparently uh, these crystals are way tougher than the ones at uh, Falling Snow, so Sword and Mist Dance does not work against it. So the best thing to do, switch to Dual Sword, go to High Stance, and then just keep using Water Slash until it's complete and then it's done. So just to be careful, there is a hole right where that crystal is, so just slowly walk uh, towards the items that you need to collect and then move on. Uh, switch to your katana, and hopefully you still have the right kitty. Uh, use that to for uh, uh, movability, and then, so just keep going uh, to the right. You'll find the uh, shrine. You can use that to replenish your omio magic health, uh, whichever it was on your journey. All right, we're gonna exit, and now we're gonna go to our right. And to the right, we're going to go inside this house to avoid all those enemies and yeah, yokais. Well, revenants and yokai, I would say. Right, let's jump down here. Let's go down. You'll see these two yokais right here. So the best thing to do if you want to avoid them, I mean, obviously, just wave dash to the left as fast as you could. fast as you can. And all right, so we go to the right, and there's going to be a floor of revenants there. So just uh, avoid them, keep go going to this house, and then just use this shrine as a checkpoint. Alright, so we're going to get out of the house, go to the right, and there's another giant yokai and crystal wall. So we're just going to do the same process that we did from the last one. Kekai, carnage, cover the weapon with water, cast the giant yokai with Slot and weakness, switch to high stance, wait for his attack, and then punish him with water slash. Alright, and there you go. So, uh, still have it on high stance, so you're gonna use the water slash on the crystal. And once the crystal goes down, all the yokai and revenant uh, surrounding the crystal will uh, pretty much be defeated or died, basically. So if you go back to the shrine, that uh, you don't have to worry about the crystal or the yokais around the crystal, along with the revenants. Uh, they don't respond. So that's good news on that. Alright, so... Oh, just a 411 about the hole uh, where it... Uh, leads to uh, pretty much there's a bunch of mages and uh, yokais uh, there uh, waiting for you so if you jump down there you're pretty much gonna get ambushed all right so we're gonna dodge these two yokais the fox yokai and that crystal yokai judging by that color it is a lightning type uh, so we're just gonna run all the way to that uh, gate which leads to the boss white tiger we're not gonna go in there yet uh, we're just gonna wait for that fox yokai to disappear loot this corpse uh, and then we're going to wait, uh, punish this revenant right here. Alright, now we're going to switch to our dual sword. Just run up here to the door to fight White Tiger. Uh, so we're going to put Kekai, Carnage, uh, and cover our dual sword with wind because White Tiger is weak against wind. And we're going to skip this cutscene. Uh, and then when the cuts, when the battle starts, we're going to immediately cast Sloth and Weakness Talisman. Uh, what's it going to do? 
Uh, the white tiger is just gonna roar as if it's a battle cry. And then it's either gonna pounce to the side or pounce forward. Uh, take that opportunity, you punish it with the water slash. And he's gonna roar to make another yokai round, which is not a problem. That gives you more time to use the water slash. And just keep uh, attacking with water slash. And with those steps, congratulations, you have defeated White Tiger. So I'm actually not gonna skip this cutscene because it's a little. This is one of the uh, sad moments right here. Uh, for a spoiler alert, uh, Neko Mamushi, I think that's his name, but I'm actually gonna call him that because like a One Piece reference. Uh, he's actually gonna, he's pretty, pretty much uh, gonna die. Dying moments before he parts ways. So just skipping that part of the cutscene, just only seeing his passing. Very sad. Uh, I don't know why I would start talking to uh, the old mage and Fuku. Uh, it doesn't do much. But anyway, go to your inventory. Uh, uh, look at your uh, weapons and armor if you need to, uh, to know uh, which fits well with you. And if you have any prestige points. Uh, go to the prestige uh, section, which is to the far right. Use them uh, as much as you have. All right, and as you see from the rewards, we're actually going to be equipping one of those weapons because it's very necessary. Uh, so we're going to go to the head armor and equip the Omeo Mage's hat, which gives you a uh, Omeo uh, fast cast. Basically what that does, it'll give you a faster way to cast your Omeo magic like Sloth, Weakness, uh, the Kekai, Carnage, and Elemental Talismans. So that that uh, gear is going to be very useful for you in your uh, mission. Alright, so we're going to go to the Blacksmith. Um, so do whatever you can. Uh, replenish your ammo. Uh, buy some weapons and armor that you believe that can be used to equip or to reforge to soul merge as well as uh, you can also use it to uh, disassemble and uh, help reforge your previous weapon if you like and if you don't uh, want to do that you can basically uh, save all that inventory of weapons and armor and just go to the shrine uh, go to offering and you can sell all that to gain more emerita and more elixir as your reward and if you have any uh spirit stones uh with you i recommend using them so that you can gain more emerita and for you to level up your character and speaking of leveling up we are going to increase our magic by four and we're going to go to the skill set and we are going on dual sword we're going to be unlocking godwin uh the key pulse heaven and living water heaven. All right, and then we go to Omeo, and we're gonna increase our talismans by level two. So we're gonna increase weakness talisman, uh, water talisman, and lightning talisman by level two. All right, and then we're gonna go to Ready Jutsu. We're going to equip uh, level two water talisman and still equip level one water talisman. And then we're gonna unequip level one lightning and equip level two lightning talisman. Then we're gonna also unequip uh, fire and wind talisman and then uh, have water and lightning talisman be equipped on our shortcut. Then 
we are going to equip our level 2 weakness as well as our level 2 kekai and hopefully you still have uh, both car uh, carnage equipped as well So we are actually going to travel to the next region on the next video. Uh, the mission we're going to is called the Iga Escape and we are going to be fighting a giant frog yokai boss. Alright, we're going to be fighting all the Kodamas and the demon of Mount Hiei. Once again, this is on a New Game Plus file. So to find the first Kodama, we're just going to be going up uh, to our left. And there is going to be a Revenant on the floor, so watch out for him. And then you'll find the first Kodama. Alright, for the second one, it's going to go past where the crystal wall and the giant yokai was. And uh, apparently uh, I got a little lost right here. Uh, just getting a little confused uh, which Kodama I needed uh, to go. So, yeah, just ignore that part. So if you've seen that shrine right there, just go to its right uh, and you'll find the next Kodama right there. Right. The next one is going to go right here. Pass underneath this bridge. Let's go down. Go to our right. And then go to our left go straight and then behind this lamp you'll find the next Kodama. Alright, we're gonna go through this hole. Make sure you destroy the crystal uh, first and then you'll find the next Kodama underneath the bookshelf. The next one, just go to the right, keep going right and then climb up this ladder. And uh, fortunately once again I got lost <laughs> for no reason. I thought the next Kodama was right here in this area, but I realized it was not. So, again, forget that. So go right here to this area. Keep going, go to the right, and then it will be the next Kodama on your left. Alright, for the next one, go up, take a right, and then right where this house is, there will be the next Kodama be on the left side of the house. Alright, this Kodama is very easy to find. Just uh, pass this uh, crystal wall, keep going up, and if you see a shrine, it should be on its left. And then finding the final Kodama, just go up where you see these two yokais. Just, uh, dodge or defeat them best you can. And then. Go to the left, and then the last Kodama will be behind this Revenant, and congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. Alright, just so gonna go to the nearest shrine, uh, go to the Blessing, which is to the left, and then uh, check all the Kodamas that we have collected, and congratulations, if you see them just making a dance move, you have collected all the Kodamas. And hope this video has helped you out.